Here, they call it Dehkade Chubi. Why they call it Dehkade Chubi means wooden village. Why? Because everything is made by wood. And what here to see is a mosque, museum, library, and restaurant, and there is one shop and a bakery. The person who has made this place, his name is Mushtahidi. He is born in 1319 in Iranian calendar. It means about 72 years ago. He finished his high school in Mashhad and he went to the States for further education, for the civil engineering, especially for the earthquake and the light structure. Uh, 33 years ago, he came back to Iran and, you know, making lots of this thing and free, I mean, like from his own money, without earning money from any, any place. So he was very fond of that and he has made and people, they like it very much. The only wooden mosque in, in the world, it is in Nishabur, I mean, here. The place which you are standing here is a mosque, wooden mosque. From the down to up, all is there. And this is the first mosque in the world which is strong for the earthquake. If you see it from the outside, it's like a ship. And there are two minars, two towers. The height is 30 meters and each about uh, four tons. And so the weight of the, the tower is divided to hold the building. It's attached to the roof. You, you never see inside there is a, it's coming down. It is on the roof, so it's very rare. And he has made how, you know, to uh, change the weather inside. When the wind it comes, it goes to these corridors. You know, it's making it cool. He, he has given all the designs and everything himself, yeah. First he constructed with the huge, uh, you know, woods, strong. Then, of course, it's small wood, they cover it. So you can see, it's, it's not one. It's double or triple, you know, it's not one. This is all for one. It's very strong. You know, you can see, it's solid, you know, it's like iron. The, all the trees, there are different kinds of fruits he has used because it was, he was in shortage. You know, anything he was getting, he was making. And another thing that he, well, he was using the wood because it's nature. There is something in it, you know, it's not made by the human being, huh? it's made by the nature. Here is always the direction should be Mecca. So when they pray, they pray to the, towards the Mecca. The mullah who will be in the forest, he will be standing here. And you know, the other people, they don't pray. You know, they, they listen to him, some part of it just uh, uh, repeating, you know. So this is what they call it Namaz Jama'at, uh, praying together. This is being chosen by, from Quran, you know, like chapters. So each of them, it's selected some part of it, and he has made it and like it. And it's kind of something like a praying for good. This is all blessing, actually. This is all, all for blessing. You know, for good wish, you know, for a good life, uh, to be a good person, you know, like this kind of thing. He made to have a healthy life, not as, uh, using uh, you know artificial things like cement and bricks and these things to make safety houses, and especially to make it and getting the same product from the same place. That's why they are growing trees. The trees producing oxygen as well as fruits, and of course wood. Everything we should make it ourselves, not cutting the trees of the uh, forest. We were uh, growing uh, and we use it, we use the fruit, we use the wood and instead of using the cement and other things, all in nature in wood.